I'm now working at UT Southwestern in Dallas okay. in the plastic surgery department, and I'm a medical esthetician, laser technician. I had on my resume everything that I learned at National Laser Institute and all the equipment I worked with. I mm -hmm. got an there after submitting my resume in my interview the ceo of this plastic surgery department said my my resume and my experience is impressive and i'm like nice. oh from national laser Institute. <laughs> hey i'm lewis the laser guy and welcome to my podcast pursue your passion join me on my journey as we discover how estheticians nurses physicians and complete career changers are living their passion in this booming billion dollar medical aesthetics industry. Finding your purpose isn't only about making great money, it's about so much more. It's about tapping into your passions and chasing your dreams. Welcome everybody to the National Laser Institute podcast. My name is Lewis, the laser guy exploring journeys of the cosmetic laser techs and cosmetic nurses in this booming $16 billion industry. I'm here with Danielle today in Dallas, Texas. How's it going, Danielle? Hi, good. How are you? Good. What's the weather like today in Dallas? Is it hot? Yeah, it's like 100 and sunny. How summer? It's 110 in Arizona. We could we could cook an egg on the sidewalk in Scottsdale right now. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I know. So I would love to ask you a few questions. I know I met you many, many, many years ago. And I think when I met you, you were like an executive assistant for a plastic surgeon and also an artist. Is that correct? Yes, exactly. So you were doing kind of like admin stuff, like errands and chores and paper, like office stuff, almost like an office manager for the plastic surgeon? Yes. Okay, no. and what kind of an artist have you been over the years, my dear? So I'm a painter. I like to paint acrylic and oil on canvas, fun, bright, colorful stuff. Very cool. And what's your favorite piece of art you've ever done? I love doing bright stuff, flowers. I have this hot pink painting with orange and yellow and white flowers and it's a pretty big canvas like four foot by three foot i i like doing happy colorful stuff what made you one day think hmm, maybe i'm going to check out aesthetics cosmetic lasers all, that kind of stuff you know shifting from an artist and administrative well i was already working for a plastic surgeon but not my ideal role i kind of helped go into the patient rooms, didn't really do much. And finally, one day he got a laser and I first volunteered, raised my hand, like, please, I <laughs> technician. I had no knowledge in it whatsoever. Didn't know how to use the laser. And so I did a little research and went to National Laser Institute. Best how, how, how'd you hear about us? I think just word of mouth. Like a lot of people in Dallas knew about it, especially in this industry. So. I think cool. someone told me and, at work. And that was a couple of years ago, right? That was in 2017. So that was a few years ago. Awesome. Before COVID. Awesome. Yeah. And what do you remember about your uh, two week boot camp cosmetic laser training experience? Like what comes to mind? Uh, I would say it was really fun. It grew my passion for this industry. I, I really remember developing um, relationships with the other classmates and with the instructors, especially. And they shared all of their expertise and how to become successful, how to get a job after, um, how to, even if you wanted to open up your own med spa, that was really encouraged. When I was at, at National Laser Institute, I and actually after leaving, like I d had dreams of one day opening up my own med spa, and a lot of my classmates were doing that right after yeah, they graduated. Very cool. So tell me about the recent job you landed. Where are you working? What kind of things you're doing? And how is it so far? So I'm now working at UT Southwestern in Dallas okay. in the plastic surgery department, and I'm a medical esthetician laser technician okay. and what is crazy is this is a teaching school a really really good school ut southwest mm -hmm. right. and I actually have all of the same lasers and equipment medical equipment that i learned on at national laser institute That's and cool. i had on my resume everything that i learned at national laser institute and all the equipment i worked with i mm -hmm. got an there after submitting my resume in my interview the ceo of this plastic surgery department said my 
my resume and my experience is impressive. And I'm like, no. oh, from National Laser Institute. <laughs> and that was really like an honor. And now that I'm there, like I realize like everything we need from like safety to the medical supplies to how you speak to clients and like how you're treating them and like pre uh, like pre and post and all of that I learned at National Laser Institute. And like, actually, like, it's funny because there's, there's a lot of people there that I have to teach and show, not just me. <laughs> I'm like, I learned all this at National Laser Institute. So I'm like really, really proud. And, and now that I have this job doing photo facials, laser hair removal, vein and scar revision and huh? chemical peels, facials, um, skin resurfacing with lasers. Um, now that I'm doing all of this, I, um, and I have this job, even my family reminds me like, you know, four years ago, you went to National Laser Institute and you really had no idea what impact it was going to have on your career. And, and I mean, right after I graduated, I did start using lasers, but I had no idea it would lead to a dream job. And um, I'm really thankful for that experience. And also it was really, really fun when I was there. I had a blast. <laughs> Love it. And Love it. Um, we actually got to work in real treatment rooms while we were there, treat patients, tr you know, and we kind of practice on each other too. And it was like a real environment of what it's going to be like when you graduate and have a job. And, and also like, I appreciated having um, the support after from, you know, job postings that were around town and that sure. kept and and it's helpful to see what else is out there. But honestly, like there's med spas everywhere. So it felt like there was lots of opportunities. And I, I really wanted to be in another plastic surgery environment. So, I mean, that's why I'm really happy about this current so, position. So think back years ago when you were more like an administrative assistant in the plastic surgery world, and now you're actually doing procedures in the aesthetic mm -hmm. world. Is it night and day different? Is this like way more fun? It's a dream. Like I'm a provider, just like, a doctor or a nurse is a provider, but I'm doing the fun stuff. Like I'm making people's skin better, making them <laughs> feel and confident. Like I have a really fun provider job and I'm not just doing paperwork or computer work or sitting down. Like I get to talk about what I'm passionate about and what I've been learning right. about. Awesome. Well, I know you're an amazing artist, so hopefully you'll keep, you're keeping up the artwork on nights or weekends or the side house or whatever, because you do great work. I do. I try to incorporate that in the weekends. I'm doing artistic work on people on the week and painting <laughs> on the weekends. Now, maybe you can talk your doctors into hanging one of your pictures in the office and people say, where'd you get that? Then you can sell it to them. Huh? Give the doctor yes, a little cut. That's like, it's already happening. It's really cool. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Well, very cool. Nice to catch up with you, my dear. Awesome that you're enjoying the job and you're at a great organization. I've heard wonderful, wonderful things about UT Southwestern. So you look great. I'm sure your kiddo is doing good. How's your old, your son now? He's how old? Reza is six years old now. Six years old. My gosh, he's drinking. He's dating. He's out of the town or not quite yet. I know. I'm like, where is he? <laughs> <laughs> he's, at the, he's at the bar in Texas. <laughs> they're, they're very open-minded there. <laughs> All right, my dear. Well, nice catching up. Congratulations on getting rocking and rolling, keeping the loop. And if you ever need anything, hit me up anytime. Okay, I will. See ya. Bye. Bye. Thank you for listening to the Pursue Your Passion podcast. Are you interested in learning more about the medical aesthetics industry? Well, feel free to visit us online at nationallaserinstitute.com or connect with us on Facebook or Instagram. I'm Lewis the Laser Guy, and we'll see you next week.